Hello everybody, my name is Alex, I'm back here again, making another video, because I feel divinely inspired, or however you want to put that, because when the inspiration comes upon you to do something, it's usually best to do it. There's a lot that can come from it, more than what the limited mind of the body would know, would even think to be possible. So here I am creating this video, speaking to you today, or whatever this time period is for you. Thank you for watching, firstly. So, what I'm here to talk about today is the concept of the Holy Trinity. But this concept goes a lot bigger than what people realize, or smaller, depending on who you are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the majority of what this is about is basically the question of what am I? How do I exist? And when you ask these questions for yourself and you gain understanding and awareness, then you may know to what I say could be true. Because all I say is simply ideas. And that's all they are. Ideas. And thank you for listening. Alright. So firstly, the Holy Trinity starts with three aspects. You have the Holy Father, or the Eternal Father, so the masculine aspect. You have the Holy Spirit, the energy that pervades and moves through and is in all spaces, or the Divine Mother as I like to refer to it. For there are many terms, many labels, many understandings. They're all just different perspectives to have. And then there is also the Son, the child. I like to refer to this aspect of the child of creation, the amalgamation of both the father and the mother, creating the child. That which the father experiences life through, experiences the journey, the perception of things. So firstly, I'll start with the mother. So what the mother is, is quite simply frequency and vibration. That's the base of what the mother is. Now the mother does have a consciousness, does have a perspective to have. But it is mainly feeling, mainly experiences of sensation, of understanding sensation, being sensation all at once. In all space, in all times, regardless of whatever. For she is as she is, I am as I am, and the father is as the father is. So, knowing that the mother is all frequency, is all bodily forms, forms of body, formation, then that takes you to the next understanding of what creates the specific forms of creation. Why are things are in certain aspects and why are things not in certain aspects? So for this we need to look at quantum mechanics. So through quantum mechanics we learn that all things are created, as in like all structures are created through perception of them and the beliefs and expectations of them. So yeah, the Father is quite simply perception, perception of all things. For the Father can perceive through all points. Now, what the child is Okay, alright, so the father is the knowing, is the, the thought patterns behind things, the creation of expectation, or the expectation of creation that creates form. So, when we put these two together, these two ideas, formlessness and form, of the mother and the father, we come across what we perceive ourselves to be, the children of creation, the son of God, for we are the children of creation, we are the amalgamation, the cross-section, the connector, the bridge link, the vessel that allows both the father and the mother to be one with the child. And that is what we are, the child of creation, the children of, for we are that I am. And so yeah, that's my perception of that. I mean there are just many ideas out there. And secondly, we need to look at um, 
the disk of Pisces. So two circles intersecting and creating a middle ground. That for me is a visual representation of the child of creation, the two spheres of existence coming together, creating what we are to be what we are. So thank you. If there are any thoughts that you might have in regards to what this could be, I would definitely appreciate hearing about them. For I have no judgment of what could be and what could not. I only know what I know, I only experience what I experience. So therefore I only express what I express. I know I may have talked in loops there, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> All right. Well, other than that, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to watching this back. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for everything. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. I give love, I give light, for we are one. We are the creation, we are the creators, and we are the experience of the journey. We are all of the above. No matter what perspective you want to have of that, you simply are. I simply am. We are. I am. Thank you. <laughs>